Today we're going to talk about a new feature in ChatGPT that does something that a lot of us have been hoping for for a long time, and that is to help ChatGPT stop forgetting what you told it. Okay, so this new feature is called the ChatGPT Custom Instructions, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you and go through what this feature does, and we're going to kind of go through a couple examples to see how you can actually leverage it. And uh, since this was released, I've been using it a lot because it, it basically allows ChatGPT to get to know me a lot better, to know what I do in my practice, to know what I offer my clients, and I want to show you how you can leverage it to do all sorts of amazing things, uh, content generation, etc. So why don't we actually go ahead and hop into the ChatGPT session here. And I'm just going to make sure that this is, you can see this OK. OK, so the first thing you're going to do is um, in ChatGPT, I'm using ChatGPT 4 here. And what you're going to do is in the lower left hand corner, you'll see that you have your name. You're simply going to go up to custom instructions. And when you click on this, you're going to basically, it asks two things. What would you like ChatGPT to know? about you to provide better responses and how would you like ChatGPT to respond? So in my case, I said, my name is Mark Howard. I run a tax accounting practice in Baltimore, Maryland. I also produce a weekly newsletter on accounting firm growth using AI called Accountants in Front of AI that helps accountants grow their firm smarter, faster, and cheaper with ChatGPT and AI, okay? So it kind of gives you a little hint off to the side on sort of you know what you can uh, uh, prompted to or what you can actually get things started with like you know where are you base what do you do for work um, and then the second question how do you like ChatGPT to respond so I said ChatGPT interactions are direct and to the point avoiding unnecessary words ChatGPT should also be very opinionated but stick to the facts whenever possible use tables to consolidate information or to make clear okay and then it has some uh, a few stars for you so how formal or casual should it be how long or short should responses be so you can play with a lot of these things here in my case you know i've noticed ChatGPT often has a lot of fluff in there so i really wanted to kind of take out the fluff and you know really get to the point Okay, so what, once that is done, um, you will in, click on Enable for New Chats down here. If you disable this, that means it's it's going to not use this, and it'll go just like you were using it without uh, with, the, with the custom instructions. So I'm going to make sure that this, this is Enabled for New Chats, and then we're going to click on Save. Okay, so now that this is in place, I'm going to ask it, let's just say, so one of my use cases, uh, you know, I write my newsletter, so I'm going to ask it for some advice. So um, let's just say, give me uh, some ideas I can use for my next weekly newsletter. Okay. So we're going to hit enter here, and it's going to start to go through this. And let me just kind of minimize this so you can kind of see it a little better. OK. So we can see that it comes up with a, quite a few things here. And it starts, so I, AI and text forecasting, chatbots for customer service and accounting, automating financial reports using AI, risk management with machine learning, personalized marketing for accounting firms, efficiency and auditing through AI, ethical considerations. So it has a lot of really great things here um, that I can I can really use. So let's try, let's just see, let's just kind of pick one here. And let's say maybe I like number 10. Let's, so let's just say here, um, I like number 10. Can you give me three subject line ideas uh, for my newsletter email? Okay, so I'm going to ask it to whip up three subject line ideas to use. So the first one is going to be unlock efficiency, top AI tools for your accounting practice. Revolutionize your firm with AI, essential tools and re resources guide, and transform accounting, a comprehensive guide to AI tools and techniques. Not quite my style. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it a step further and train it a little bit on my newsletter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go to my newsletter here at uh, in front of AI.com. And I'm just going to literally copy and paste 
all the titles from my prior newsletters, basically all the, the, the subject lines that I've used, and I'm going to just quickly train it on it. Okay, so I'm going to copy that, control C, I just did, and I'm going to go back here and just say, here are some examples of subject lines I've used in the past. Please give me three ideas for the subject line. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and control V and paste that. So what, what I did here, I just literally pasted it under here. Um, and I'm not going to worry about formatting. ChatGPT is smart enough to do that. So I can see, you know, how to automate a $260,000 Accounting newsletter was one of my recent ones, reinventing your accounting career of AI, how to analyze financial statements with ChatGPT. Okay, so you kind of get the point. So let's go ahead and hit enter, and let's see if it comes back with three good subject lines that I can actually use based on uh, my, my history. Okay, so number one, revolutionize your firm with AI tools, a complete guide. As 50% of accountants now rely on cutting edge technology, Okay, I don't know about that. That's a little far-fetched, about 50%. I would have to fact-check that. Number two, the ultimate toolbox for accountants, AI's game changer. While my clients reap the benefits of automated efficiency. Okay, number three, empowering accountants with AI, your essential tool guide. As tech leads the way to smarter, faster growth. Okay, so this is a lot more like it. As you can see here, you can see my style. Um, when I write, I usually have kind of like a sub, you know, a subtopic here. So, for example, you'll see it, you know, this is the, the so major chapter sheet upgrade for accountants, and then these features rock my world. So, basically, I have like the title and then the subtitle underneath. So, it actually picked up on that and it's using it. So, this is just one way to quickly use it. And, like I said, it's a very simple thing that you can do using ChatGPT. And as you use this more, it, you know, really gets into your style and it, starts to almost mimic you know what you're doing so very powerful you don't have to use it but if you're being consistent in your usage you're going to find it a lot easier to uh, get the most out of ChatGPT with so that's it for today i will see you in the next video